on each of the four sides. That is the John Hancock Center. Now, the John Hancock Center is not the tallest building in our city. Or is it the second tallest, not even the third? What is it the fourth tallest in our skyline? Now, you know we like to talk about design, architecture, things of that nature here in this fine city. Now, we're going to talk about uh, the unique design of the John Hancock Center. Recently, are those five X's on each of the four sides. Now, uh, those are there to actually represent the structural integrity of the skyscraper. That means that those five X's are only building up. Now, uh, uh, no internal light beams uh, for support there in the John Hancock Center. It's just all those five X's. Now, all the floors are wide open. No internal light beams, so it's definitely a unique design indeed. Now, if I can exoskeleton, you can actually take a couple floors out and not compromise the structural integrity of the skyscraper. So, that's a very deep design. Now, all the way up there at the top is Signature Room. Uh, man, really good uh, drinks up there as well as good appetizers. And also, great views of the lake in the city. Now, also, uh, very good down at the bottom of the tank, you can tell the cheese cake factory is down there. John Hancock Center. Also, uh, we're going to move on to talk about uh, the one directly to the left of the John Hancock Center, the big white one with the black band on top. That is Auto Tower Place. Completely in 1975, it was the world's tallest concrete reinforced the skyscraper. Now, uh, you know what? Way up there at the top of the penthouse, uh, right under that black band, is where uh, one of our most famous residents in the city lives. Oprah Winfrey. She's way up there at the top. That's where she resides when she's in town. She spends a lot of her time in California. She does come to town to tape her show. Now, also, way down there at the bottom of Water Tower Place, Water Tower Place Mall, really fun uh, shops to check out. And you know what? Uh, it's namesake. The original Water Tower is right across the street from there. If you guys have been up there on the north end of the Magnificent Mall, you guys cannot have this it. It, uh, it looks like a castle, built like a castle too. Big stone block. One of the only structures that survived the Great Chicago Fire of the 1870s. Some say that there's two or three that survived, uh, other than uh, the water tower. Some say that that is a singular structure that survived that fire. Now, look at real quick. Uh, directly to the right of the John Hancock Center, we have that big brown skyscraper with the green windows and the uh, four pointed turret at the top. That is 900 North Michigan Avenue, also known as the Bloomingdale's Building, named after its anchor to the Bloomingdale's Department Store. Now, guys, now let's talk about the lake a little bit. What a great lake that we have here that we're cruising on tonight. Uh, no wonder that they call these lakes inland seas because they are so vast. Now this lake here, 22,300 square miles of fresh water. That is a lot of water, guys. Now uh, this lake, along with uh, Lake Lake Michigan here, along with Lake Huron, Lake Ontario, Lake Superior, and Lake Erie, compose about 20 to 25 percent of the Earth's natural freshwater resource. And when I say natural, that means that all these lakes were left here from the Ice Age. Uh, back when the glaciers were south here, when they melted and receded north, they left us all this wonderful fresh water. Also, uh, what a resource it is, this lake for us. You know what? Uh, this is not only for doing boat tours like we're doing, and also recreational boating. This is where we get our drinking water from, right here. Believe it or not, this is the reason we're drinking water supply right now. Now, of course, we don't take it right out of the lake and put it into the tap, even though the lake is very clean. You can't really do that, right? Kind of purify it first. Now, uh, right over here off the starboard side of our vessel, on the other side of that tree line, uh, that's our James Dixon Jardine Water Purification Plant. That is the largest water purification plant in the world. Uh, it's the amount of water that it's right here. Right now, uh, it does have a sister facility to the south of here, the second largest water purification plant in the world. Both of those facilities combine one billion gallons of water each and every day. Man, that's a lot of water. Gotta make this lake ever get depleted. 
Thanks, guys. 